How's it going everyone? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload new and amazing content just like this video. For this video, I take Lakeshore Drive South through the north side and downtown. This is where Lakeshore Drive begins on the north side heading south. Lakeshore Drive is one of America's most iconic roadways as it follows the Lake Michigan shoreline through the heart of Chicago, if you couldn't tell by the name of the road. We are in the Edgewater District, which has in recent years become a popular neighborhood for LGBT couples to live, as historically they settled in the Boys Town and Old Town neighborhoods further south. 56,000 people called Edgewater home in the 2010 U.S. Census. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight. Parts of Lakeshore Drive can see up to 160,000 vehicles daily. We are approaching downtown Chicago. If you're interested in learning more about downtown Chicago, you should check out my previous video. Chicago as a whole is home to 2.7 million residents, which is down nearly a million people from a 1950 peak population of 3.6 million. 38% of adults 25 and older have a bachelor's degree or higher, and the median household income for the city's residents is $55,000 per year. To the west of Lakeshore Drive, which is to our right, is Lincoln Park and the Lincoln Park Zoo. The Lincoln Park Zoo sees around 3 million visitors per year and is free to enter, making it one of the last free zoos to visit. This is also where the band Lincoln Park formed. Okay, I'm, I, I'm just kidding about that. They actually formed in suburban Los Angeles. At this point, Lakeshore Drive goes past the Gold Coast District of Chicago, which is home to many luxury high-rises. Downtown is straight ahead if you couldn't tell by the massively tall John Hancock Center. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the amazing footage that you see. You can see the Navy Pier on the left ahead, which sees around 9.3 million visitors per year. I'm still on you, I'm still on you. 
And now on the west side of the roadway is Millennium Park and Grant Park along with the Buckingham Fountain. Whenever one of your Instagram friends visits Chicago, they almost always make sure to take a selfie by the Bean. That's located in Millennium Park, which sees 25 million visitors annually, and that makes it the most popular tourist destination in the Midwest. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight. Straight ahead you can see the Field Museum which sees over one and a half million visitors annually. It's also a part of the larger area known as Museum Campus. And this is where I end the video as it starts raining not too soon after. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload new and amazing content just like this video. We'll see you next time. Peace!